Okay. <laughs> well, I apologize, guys. I don't know what's going on, what caused that just now, but we're going to try one more time. If that happens again, then I'm just going to reset my router, and it's going to take longer for me to get back on here. But we kicked off the stream once again. This is basically the same stream we were just doing, obviously, but had to end the other one because I could not get it to do anything right. So <laughs> here we are. Do apologize once again. I'm going to have to figure that out, though, because that's very frustrating, and that should not be happening. So on my end, it's looking good now. If you guys are still having issues, just let me know in the YouTube chat once again. Yeah, let's not do Forza versus Stevio again, but it says my stream status is good. I did put it from ultra low latency to low latency just to hopefully help the quality and that to not happen again but yeah today it's youtube versus stevio always something against stevie every time i try and do anything but anyways we're in this porsche i don't know what you guys last heard me talking about or saying but right now i'm playing in solo and finishing up the solo part of the winter festival which is why i'm on here now what i was about to do before the last stream ended is just take a look at these colors here and see what's going on but Oh boy, we got lots of colors to choose from. Yellow's pretty nice. I definitely like the white, though. The first color we had. Blue's okay. Mm. Eh. Ooh. Honestly, no. I'm just going to leave it white. I think that looks really clean like this. The wheels. We can take a look. What do we got? What do we got? Excuse me. Jeez. So I think that looks good like that. Inner barrel we can do black. And outer lip. Mm, I think I like it like that. We'll just leave that. We'll put tints on here. I think we'll pretty much be good to go. I'm trying to figure out if I want to upgrade this or just literally leave it the way it is. But like JJS just said, smash that like button. <laughs> Only because it helps me out a big ton. And... Thing is, most people just forget. I mean, it's something people don't really think about. I'll be honest, when I watch YouTube videos and stuff, I always forget. Like, I, I never like videos, but it seriously does help me out. It helps creators out a lot when you like. And another thing, make sure you subscribe. Turn that notification bell on because we're going to be streaming to get that Apollo later on here today. So you definitely don't want to miss that. I know not everyone has those really good teams to play against unbeatable drive guitars. So definitely something to keep in mind. But... Uh, I'm not going to put the 918 motor in here, but speaking of the 918, I'm probably going to download my tune from Forza Horizon 3, like I may have mentioned earlier, for when we get that Apollo later today, see how that works out. But I'm not doing co-op right now, we are just trying to complete those winter seasonal events. Yeah, there it is though. 4.6 liter V8 hybrid, so I'm definitely leaving this thing real. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe I should make this thing all-wheel drive. Just because we're in winter. I don't know, though. I'm not sure what races we're going to be doing. Snow tires? You know, I actually want to try that. Rear wheel drive with snow tires. So it's something I haven't really done too much. Should I put rally suspension on here? I'm just trying. I don't know what the races are that we're going to be doing. So I'm just kind of making sure I can tune what I want to tune. Let's see if I can put snow tires on with that. Yes, I can. Okay, perfect. Twin toy bow. I think that should be plenty of power. We got the snow tires on there, wider tires. Uh, I'll just try and maybe. Nope, that's too much. That's too much. 
Yo, Terrier. I do apologize about that, though, man. That's so annoying when my streams just kind of freeze up like that. I haven't had that happen in a while, and I noticed, I remembered in the past, that would only happen when I have it on ultra-low latency, which gives us real-time interaction practically, but the thing is, like, if it causes the streams to freeze, it's really not worth it. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's my laptop. I don't know if it's my internet, but... I never have really a problem with anything, so it's kind of surprising. But I did turn my phone off so the Wi-Fi is not connected. That's one less thing. I mean, I got three people in my house upstairs that all have Wi-Fi on, so not sure how that affects things and all that. But hey, you live and you learn, right? We're going to try resetting the router no matter what once I'm officially done with this stream. This winter stream, but... Thing does handle pretty damn good in the snow, not gonna lie. Alright, so, Terrier, we're gonna be doing it all throughout the day, so I'm sure you'll catch me at some point. I don't know exactly what times I'm gonna be on, but let's see here. So, oh, wrong thing. Just real quick. I should have put a suspension on. This thing feels a little bit... I feel like it sways a little bit, but honestly what I just did there with the anti-roll bar seems to have fixed it. The front was just a little bit too stiff, I think. Okie dokie. So... Where are we going here? Where are we going? Yeah, I saw somebody joined me, that's fine. I mean, I'm gonna... Actually, might as well just go to solo just to make sure something that weird doesn't happen where people join me and stuff like that. It just happened. When it is safe. That was interesting, to say the least, but... Alright, let me... Fast travel here real quick. Wow, that was rude. Somebody disliked my stream. How dare you? How could you? So we can get the Porsche 914-6. I can't believe I missed this car the first time around. This so, is one of those super rare crazy, ones in Forza there, Horizon 3. But no, nobody can join right now because I have to win and I don't wanna I don't want people to intentionally lose or weird things like that. That just kinda takes the fun away from it, I feel like. Don't worry, we'll be doing plenty of online later. Hey, I mean, if the shoe fits, that's fine. I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> JJS, you gotta start way back. Like, way, way back. And you wanna kinda go up the right side of the hill. Grim Reaper can probably explain it to you pretty well, because he was actually the one that helped me with it while we were doing it live. I gotta say, this Carrera is pretty impressive for rear-wheel drive and in the winter and everything. I like it. I like it a lot. Just gotta catch this Quantum Echoes guy now. Handles very well. It's a really nice car we got here, even with this quick setup and everything. 
This guy's pretty quick in first place, though. Was he in the Audi TTRS? I need to put a race transmission in here. Second gear is way too short. Kind of reminds me of my Lexus. It shifts to like 33 and then 51. It's just way too close together. That's only a five speed though. This is like a seven speed, so. Third gear is too short as well. I can't get used to these short gears, man. So used to long gears. My driving is awful right now. Eight speed? It's probably because I haven't even gotten close to... I don't think, I don't think I've even hit seventh gear in this yet. I definitely like your car recommendation. Very cool car. And I did clowning around. I did. Absolutely. Did you not see the end of the video clowning? I showed it when it was done. I, the only thing I have to do yet is like buff over it just to hide the very unnoticeable line that's kind of left in the paint just because the paint underneath the strip was obviously very very new compared to what still looks pretty good and pretty new on the rest of it so I used my Uricon that I kind of put different I put the s rally suspension and snow tires on versus my race setup so oh okay well no I did not buff the <laughs> I didn't buff it yet no I still have to order one of those so I'm in no rush, honestly. I mean, it looks really good, and you can barely even tell that there's a difference in the paint there, so. Let's keep it rolling. So how is everyone on this fine morning? It was beautiful outside. It was, like, foggy when I went out. Now it's sunny, which I'm kind of disappointed about. But it was, it was a unique morning to be outside, especially after that huge storm that we got here. There was, like, flooding everywhere. Severe winds, tornado warnings, just all kinds of stuff last day. It was insane. I was literally sitting in my car when I got home because it was pouring. And my car started shaking because it got so windy. I was, like, seriously afraid that I was about to blow away. It was insane last night. All right. Here we go. Damn, that guy launched. Oh, I should have held that drift. So weird, I just thought that I was in... I thought I downshifted in the second, but I was in third. Like, I have no feel for these gears at all, man. Hmm, I don't know clowning. I have no idea. I don't remember making one. I think I made, like, a drag build for one of the mocks or something, but I don't think I made a drift build for that. I know I made a drift build for the... Well, I didn't really make a drift build, but I had a drift build for the Sylvia. That was one of my favorites. Yo, those stupid fences, though. All right, this race is certainly not going as well as the first one so far. Spring is in about two hours. Two hours. Whoa, 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 I'm losing it, I'm losing it. <laughs>
This race is a lot more slippery. Deeper snow. And also my driving, I think, got a lot worse. And we're in rear wheel drive still, at the end of the day. <laughs> I don't think I'm getting first here though. I don't think it's gonna happen. I've made too many mistakes. Still have a chance though, not giving up. Quantum Echoes again. Ooh. Pew! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was close. That was close. <laughs> yeah, but now you gotta be the original owner of an 812. Anybody can snag one off the auction house. Anybody can do that. That's crazy though. How many did you miss before you actually got one of those 812s? Because I was 0 for 3 that other night. And I thought that was insane that I missed 3 of them, but... Yeah, I mean, my driving is okay, but it has a lot of work. A lot of work to be done yet. And Adam, I do play online. Right now I'm playing offline though to finish up the winter season. And we're doing that festival playlist. I got one more race to do here. But don't worry, later today we will be doing just online. Mostly the trial, because I know the Apollo is going to be a very sought-after car, and I want to make sure as many people get it as possible, even the people that aren't the greatest drivers in the world. So, unbeatable difficulty. It's not, it's not particularly easy, but if you have the right car and I'm going to work on a tune, it'll be very doable. Again, don't forget, turn that notification bell on. Make sure you guys are aware of when my streams are going to be so you don't miss them. And I don't think the amount of credits you have really affects whether or not you can play online, Adam. Alright, here we go! Oh, I know this race. I know this one. Whoa, why you gotta hit me like that, though? Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm glad you told me to use this car reaper because I'm liking it a lot. The more detailed tune, I think this could really be something. Honestly though, it feels pretty damn good the way I have it here. Rear wheel drive, snow tires. Stock suspension. The widest tires you can put on here, though. Cams, turbo, twin toybo. You can barely tell that it's rear wheel drive most of the time.
Once I'm in first place, man, I feel so much more comfortable driving. I can take whatever driving line I want to. I'm not panicking or worried about people in front of me. Makes me drive so much better. <laughs> I don't know if that's a sign of a good driver or a bad driver. I feel like a sign of a bad driver. <laughs> I shouldn't be panicking or worried at all. I should be confident that I can get first place. I'm also getting more use of the car every time I drive it. And I know this race a lot better than the other two, so... That probably is part of it. What's up, Rodney? How are you? Well, Doucheland's finest, as I first thought that was pronounced, just literally looking at it. It is complete. There's our Porsche 914 6, my first one in Forza Horizon 4. And some more credits, not that I really need that anymore. And Shane, you can buy credits, I'm pretty sure. Like, there is a way to do that, but I think that's pretty uh, pointless and stupid. Just play the game, have fun, and earn credits, man. Like, don't be spending your real-life money on it. Alright, well, very nice car here. The Porsche Carrera S DLC car. There's our Porsche 914.6, so... We are at 78% complete. We are never doing online adventure again because I finally tried to do it and the game wouldn't let me play it. It just kept lagging out, so that's never happening again. But the final one, Mini John Cooper Works, brand new car. And this is it. Cross Country Series Winter Wonders. So let's fast travel right on over here. We need something A-class. Once again, guys, please give me a pew! Drop a like on the video if you have not yet. Help the stream grow. Help the stream grow. Helps me out a lot. I used to never ask for likes or for people to subscribe at all, and I'm sure most of you know that if you've watched me for a long time, but I've realized that it's kind of just something, if I want to grow more on YouTube, that's like a huge factor in it, and I hate, honestly, asking people for it, but I know a lot of people don't think about it, they forget, whatever, so that's the only reason I'm starting to mention it now. Just want you guys to know that. But let's see what our eligible cars are here for this. Ooh, the Porsche 959. That is definitely the car I'm going to be using for this. I have to. And I haven't really necessarily set any goals. I mean, my main goal, the biggest goal I have on YouTube, though, is to hit 100,000 subscribers. I think that would be amazing to get, like, one of those plaques and everything. But honestly, just taking it day by day and seeing what happens, just having fun with it, and that's the mindset I'm trying to have. Because I let it get too serious at one point and I just wore myself out, I burned myself out and I just never want that to happen again. So I'm definitely using my 959 but I'm going to upgrade it. So we got to go to the festival to do that. I just want to put it to the top of the A class. Actually, you know what? I don't think I should use the 959 because this is cross country. I just thought about that. So, so maybe that's not the best idea. Mm, you know what? Mm, I want to use it, but I'm like, uh, I'm going to actually not do that. We're not going to use the 959. If it was a regular, like, dirt racing or street racing, I would, but we're just going to pick a random car and we're just going to rock with it. And it's only on highly skilled, so. There's lots of people coming to watch this winter seasonal, you know. Go and give them a show. Three more races, okay. I'm glad that there's no more, like, four or five race events, because there used to be. Oh, I can use my Subarus? Oh, man. Oh, God. 
I said Subarus, I meant Mitsubishis. My apologies to anyone that offended, but these are the only cars I have that I can use. I feel like this could be good. I mean, it's a rally setup. It's got winter tires on it. We're going with it. I love this car, so we're going with it. And Twisted Soul, what do you mean exactly? Like, what do you want me to do with the Audi R8 V10 Plus? <laughs> you mean just drive it, or... I think I just got that car in a wheel spin recently, actually. I didn't have it. But hello, hello there, the trailer. Hello, hello. Well, everybody's in a Subi, so... Let's see how this goes. This Mitsubishi can do some damage. This is a good Mitsubishi. This is a car actually tuned. Let's see how crazy and annoying this is. Oh boy. Well, I had an airborne pass, but it didn't bank because... Well... Forza. So far, so good. Oh, look at the Subies. Like, nope. You're not passing the Subies. I'm telling you, man, this Mitsubishi, it's a good one. I actually love this setup. This is one of my favorite tunes I've made in this game. I was in the Porsche 911 Carrera S. It's a DLC car. Mr. Grim Reaper recommended that I use it, so I was like, alright, I'll, I'll take a look at it. Just threw a quick build in it to make it top of the S1 class, and man, it was awesome. And that was rear-wheel drive. I don't know if you saw the race I was doing, but the race is... Whoa! But yeah, it was rear-wheel drive. Fantastic car. I hate how I'm in first, because I have to break through everything, and I'm just making, like, a nice way for everybody behind me to go through. I gotta say, man, this thing's putting in the wakes. This thing's doing really good for the winter. Well, if you want to rewind the stream and take a look, you certainly can do that. And this is a sprint race. Oh, boy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, this was easy. A little too easy. I have shared this tune, and I will show you guys it in just a second. I love this thing, man. This thing is amazing. Pew! I'm sorry. Pew! <laughs> I gotta do the hand trick so that it... Doesn't uh, pierce your guys' ears through the microphone. Make all that crackling going on. We hit over 200 million credits once again. I'm going to be ending this stream pretty much right when I complete this winter stuff because then I have stuff that I'm going to be working on for today and then we will be streaming once spring gets here. I'm going to be ending this stream. But here is the tune for this car. So what you do, go to Cars. You want to get into the 1999 Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 6. GSR. Go to Tune Car, and then you want to go to, at the bottom you can see it says Setup Manager, so that's the little back button on Xbox. Don't know what that would be on the other thing, but Flynn, don't judge my pew. Everybody loves my pew. You're one in a million that doesn't like it. <laughs> pew, pew, pew! But anyways, so you want to go to Load Setup, and then at the bottom, as you can see, it says search. So again, you hit the little back button on Xbox and then you'll just put in creator, type in Stevio2175, my Xbox gamer tag, same as my YouTube. Then you just hit search and there it is. My, it was for Forzathon, that's the reason I made this a while back, but it's the Lancer Evo. Six. I just want to make sure I said the right one. And that's it. You just click on it, hit download, and install. So, fantastic car. Love it a lot. 
So somehow it's only a one star, even though it has over a thousand downloads, 2,800 uses, and 354 likes. How does that work? But hello there, Dewan. Let's open up a wheel spin, because I know I'm not going to get anything anyways. A Chevelle. I guess that's something. Where's the next race? I think both of them are up here, right? Yep, one there, and one here. Yeah, the ratings are definitely not as consistent as they were in Forza Horizon 3. They have everything kind of set up a little bit differently, but... It is what it is. What can we do? Honestly, I could have went with the Porsche 959, but I'm happy that we ended up going with this. This is an awesome car. I haven't driven it in a while. I would have completely forgotten about it. I could easily up the difficulty. I probably should. Maybe I should try unbeatable for the third race. If I get these first two wins locked up and have a lot of points that I'm ahead by, just in case anything goes wrong. Whoa, I think I made this tune for a speed zone or something in winter. And I mean, keep in mind too, like this race, like I'm doing really good for these races because this is not what this car is intended for. It's not intended for like cross country and trail races and stuff like that. It's meant for rally and for street even. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Airborne pass. But it just handles so good and it's it's quick too though. Like it's just a great all-around car. Shouldn't have downshifted there when I did and shouldn't have upshifted when I did. That was bad driving. I wanna hit that snowman, damn it. Really good balanced A-class car though. Very fun to drive. Yeah, I think I should definitely raise the difficulty. This is, like, way too easy. But thank you for subscribing the trailer. Really appreciate it. I gotta get those notifications up on, uh, the stream. Where it says, like, this person just subscribed, or this person donated. I... You know, it depends what I'm doing. You have to have the right car for winter. That's what it comes down to. Like, each season, you gotta have cars tuned for the seasons, and I really don't have that for the most part. This is probably, like, my only... one of my only good winter tunes, besides the Subies, obviously. All right, I think we're gonna put unbeatable on. We're gonna challenge myself for the very final part of this. Oop, wrong thing. Of this winter season festival playlist. Watch me regret it majorly because it's gonna be like a really annoying race. It's all good though, it's all good. We won the first two. As long as I come in like top five, I should be fine.
Let's do it, baby. With my Evo 6. I love Subarus, but there's something about a couple of the Evos that I've tuned in this game. Love them. Haven't spent a lot of time with the Subarus, though, tuning-wise. Alright, starting all the way from the back. 12th place. Uh oh. I didn't like the way I took air there. Some deep snow. Hey, there's the barn find. I remember when I got pushed into that when we were doing an online race. That was fun. Look at that green Subi. Don't see many green Subis. This is unbeatable? This is all you guys got? I should have taken the jump. Maybe not, actually. I went through this water a lot smoother than I thought I would until that point right there. That was not very smooth at all. <laughs> I'm surprised that these cars can even go through the snow because this is some deep snow we're going through here. These Subies got nothing on me, though. Nothing, I tell ye. Alright, get a grip, car. Get a grip. Some of those checkpoints, it's like, wait, am I actually going through it? I thought the checkpoint was over to the right more. I slowed down way more than I needed to there. This thing just keeps trucking along, man. No matter what I'm driving through, it just keeps on going. I gotta say, it's affecting me though. It's slowing me down a lot. Whoa! Hell no! Nah. <laughs> Don't worry, man. I'm gonna be streaming later a lot. Like, we're gonna be streaming a lot today. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I'm just on here early because I had to finish the winter season. I completely, like, forgot that I had to finish the winter season, so that's why I'm on here. I'd, I wasn't going to stream, but I just figured, like, why not? Why not just hop on? Everybody can watch me finish the winter season, and hopefully it served as a reminder for some people to get the brand new car, the Mini John Cooper Works Buggy. There it is, baby. There it is. But all right, Vanua, not a problem. Not a problem. You have yourself a good night. Yeah, it is early though, right? I'm sure some people are waking up on the west coast right now and they're like, what the hell, Stevio streaming at like 6 a.m.? Because <laughs> right now where I am, it's almost 9 a.m., so on the west coast it is 6 a.m. Probably getting up ready for school, work, whatever. But alright. Love that car, as you can see even on Unbeatable, still pretty dominant. And I started all the way in 12th place, obviously, but there we go. Season bonuses, winter 80% complete. Got our Land Rover Series, Forza Edition, which I'm probably going to throw in the auction house right now because I just don't care because I already have a couple of them. But very nice, JJS. Glad somebody has their notifications on so they won't miss my streams. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. But we are at 85% for winter. We're at 67 for the series, so hopefully we'll be able to get to 80% once I complete all of spring once it gets here. And we are not doing online adventure because you guys, some of you guys know what happened the last time I tried that. When the game first came out, I tried it, and all I did was get bumped out of checkpoints. Now Forza just doesn't want me to play it. They're just like, nope, you're just going to keep lagging out. So I'm done. I give up with that. We're never going to be able to do the online adventure, but we will get that Bone Shaker back. I sold my originals of the Quartz Regalia and the Bone Shaker. 
And right now I'm going to go sell this Land Rover because I definitely do not need it. That was all I was really planning on doing for the stream. I guess we can hop online now and do Forzathon Live to end off. How's that sound for everybody? Is anybody even on and able to play or is everyone out driving or work or school or something? <laughs> because if you guys want to do Forzathon Live here at 9 o'clock, we can certainly do that. Let me real quick get rid of this Land Rover. Is that... Yeah, it's under Land Rover. I'm sure if it was Range Rover or Land Rover. So yeah, as we as you can see, we got a couple of these bad boys. You know what? I just realized I didn't even go to the auction, so I could actually auction the car. That would probably be pretty helpful. What's up, Sa? What's up, man? Okay. What's up, Rel? How are you? Welcome back to the stream. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm going to have to look. I have no idea how much time is left on the stream. I think it's about an hour and 34 minutes. By the time I look, it might be an hour and 33. But I will check just to make sure for you. Love these two Lotuses. Both beautiful cars. Let's take a look. Forzathon Shop. What do we got? An hour and 32 minutes and 45 seconds. That was close. That was right on. Pretty much right on. That's how much time you have left to get all these items in here. So I'm going to hop into an online Horizon Life and then I'm going to do the Forzathon Live. So if anyone wants to join me, feel free. If anyone needs an invite, Send me a message is probably going to be the best idea. Direct message on Xbox Live, that is. <laughs> What's up, Dustin? How are you, man? Let's see, what car do I want to switch to for this? I'm pretty good, man. I'm pretty good. Ah, you know what? Let's get into that Aventador that I got off the auction house the other day. Glad to have you back, Jordan. Glad to have you back. Make sure you get those notification bells on so you can actually see all my streams in the future and be notified, because we're going to be doing a lot today, and they're going to be important ones. You want to know why? Once this loads, I can show you. There it is, guys. Spring. In an hour and 30 minutes, we're going to be able to do the trial together on unbeatable difficulty for that Apollo IE 2018 so I'm pretty excited it's a brand new exclusive car god that thing is beautiful as well so we're definitely going to be going for that but let me see where this Forzathon live is of course it's all the way up here six miles in one minute yeah that's not happening that's not happening And this will be the end of the stream, by the way. We're going to do the Forzathon Live that I'm getting off because I do have other things I want to work on. That's whatever. Most of those people got banned, honestly. Forzathon Live, starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go! Round one so look at how different the car looks in the different lighting. Like, that is insane. Turn around. 
And Jordan, I don't know exactly yet. Um, I will be alerting everyone in my Discord. I'll try to on YouTube, my Facebook, everything. But honestly, best thing is just have your notifications on so you get the notification when I go live. That is the most consistent way to know when I will be streaming. And you have to make sure you have that notification bell on, though, because if you don't, then you're not going to get all of the notifications from YouTube. And I still don't understand why there's three different ways of subscribing, but it definitely impacts how often people get notifications. After I hit this speed trap, I can post you a link to the Discord. Let me grab it real quick. And there you go. Let's go, team. Let's go, baby. I like how I was reeling in that Mossler, and then it just took off. Never could catch up to it. <laughs> I love this Aventador, though, man. This thing is nice. I hate this speed tri or this speed zone. This is so annoying. Ooh, yeah, that's why I don't like it. I mean, can, you know what? I don't do any glitches, man. I, you'll never see me doing any glitches at all. Kinda wanna see, though, if the Mossler or the 599XX Eva that I have could go through this bend without doing that wall grinding. <laughs> Let's try the Mossler first. Love this car. It's not a winter car. It's definitely a summer car, but we're going to try it. <laughs> nope. Not really. Still hit the wall a little bit. <laughs> Unbelievable. Round two complete. Get to round three. <laughs> well, that was easy. Pew, pew, pew. All right, we got a wheel spin. Why not? 
Why not? Make it that Camaro Z28. That's my guess. Nope, wrong. Oh my god. I feel like I've gotten those before. I thought you're not supposed to get repeats of this stuff. Damn it. Alright, well, I believe that is going to conclude this stream. But again, make sure you got those notification bells on on YouTube here because we are going to be doing a couple more streams today. We're going to have some videos coming out. We got a lot going on today. So make sure you're there mainly for this. A lot of people have been waiting. And it's almost here, an hour and 24 minutes. So again, make sure you're here all day today. Make sure you're paying attention, obviously, unless you're at work or school or whatever. That's why I'm streaming throughout the day, because I know everyone's in different time zones and everything, and that's just kind of what's going on here. So, this one says hyperspeed, and I'm just going to assume that we need to use hypercars for this one. That's kind of my assumption. So, I'm hoping that I can use my Porsche 918 Spider Tune from Forza Horizon 3. That would be pretty awesome, and... We'll see, I guess. We will see. But I'm excited to get that thing. It's going to be a beautiful car and should be a lot of fun. So, As well as the Buick GSX, another new car, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Zoom kind of 10 Focus. Can anyone tell me where this car is from? I thought it was a Forzathon Shop exclusive car. It's not available at the auto show. Don't know if there was somewhere else you could have gotten it from. Seasonal event or something. Can't remember for sure. Pretty sure I have that thing already, though. And then also the Ferrari 599 GTO. It is at the auto show, so not a huge deal. Other than that, though, obviously the main thing is the Apollo. So that is what we will be doing on stream today for sure. Over and over, helping as many people as, many people as I can. And one more time, actually, just to make sure everybody is aware. Forzathon shop, an hour 22 left in winter, so make sure you don't miss those if you want them, but that is going to be it. I am out of here, guys. Thank you to everyone who showed up at this early morning stream. Had a lot more people watching than I expected, to be honest, so it was pretty nice, but again, if you have not yet, please drop a like. It really helps me out. Subscribe, turn that notification bell on, get ready for today. We're going to have a lot going on. Have a great day, though, guys. If I don't talk to you again, peace out. Pew!